Hello everyone. So, hello everyone. This is Shadil Khan, and today we are going to start with a new lesson that is adjectives in Spanish. So, so first of all, I am going to discuss in adjectives. The first thing that I am going to discuss is the rule of criss and crisscross. So, whenever if we are going to encounter any adjective in Spanish, so we are going to apply the rule of crisscross. By the rule of crisscross, I mean that if there is an if there is adjective. An adjective. So what you are going to do? Let's take the example. This example that we have good boy. So what we are going to do? First of all, uh, we must uh, we must know the word for good and boy. The word for boy is chico, and the word for good is bueno. So if like this we are having a, uh, we have adjectives before the noun, but in Spanish what we are going to do? We are going to crisscross this, crisscross this, and for boy. The word in Spanish is chico, chico, c h i c o, chico, and for good it is bueno, bueno, b u e n o, n o, bueno. So by this way we can say if we want to say good boy in Spanish, so we are going to say chico bueno. It is going to be reverse. So now here we have a very simple sentence. She is a beautiful girl. So the word for beautiful is bonito. We can use bonito or hermosa, and the girl, and the word for girl is chica. So the first thing that we are going to do, uh, we will move on by step by step translation. So the first word is she. That is going to be ella, ella. For is we are going to write s, s. For a, a. We are talking about a girl, so we will use una. Una, una. So now again, here we have adjective and a noun. So we are going to apply the rule of crisscross. So first we are going to write chica, chica, and then beautiful. That is hermosa or linda. Let's take the word linda. L i n d a, linda. Chica, linda. So now here we have the example. The red lip is attractive. So the word for attractive in Spanish is atractivo. Attractivo. So we just have to add a at the end, and there are there we are with the Spanish word of attractive. And lip in my previous class I discussed that the word for lip is labio. And in my color session I told you that the word for red is rojo. Rojo. So we are going to look at the word by word translation, and uh, this adjective we are going to apply the rule of criss and cross. So first of all, the for the we are talking about the lip. So the word for lip is labio, labio. So labio is a masculine word. So we are going to use masculine the that is l, l, l. So again, lip. First we are going to write lip and then the red. So l labio, l labio. Again, red for red we are going to write rojo, r o j o rojo, rojo. And for is we are going to write s s. And for attractive it will be attractivo, a w t r a c t i v o, attractivo, attractivo. So now here we have another sentence. This is a Wonder Woman. So we are talking about a Wonder Woman. So the exact translation of Wonder in Spanish is not is not is not Wonder. Like you are thinking something. It's not like that. It's like that you are denoting that the woman is marvelous, marvelous. So the translation of Wonder is like she is a marvelous woman. So we are talking about a woman. So for this we are going to use feminine this that is esta. Esta, esta. For is we will use es, es. For a we will use una, una. Now here we are going to apply the rule of crisscross. So first we are going to write woman, woman, and then mujer, mujer, and then marvelous. For wonder, we are going to use the word marvelous. So, maravillosa, maravillosa, mara, vi, jo, 
डबल एलो जो सा मारा भी जो सा मारा भी जो सा मारा भी जो सा so here we have another slide uh, and the sentence is this is a red car so again this is a very easy sentence so here we have red car car the word for car is coche coche and we know we know that uh, car is car is male so we are going to use masculine this and masculine this is este este so we are going to write este es for is we are going to write is este es for a we will write un un for red car again we are going to apply the rule of criss cross este es un coche c o c h e coche for red we are going to write rojo 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 so now i am going to discuss the word king and queen so you might have heard a word reign reign means to rule to rule and we know that king and queen they rule so again re reign it is again from the latin and latin root so the word in spanish that is also very similar to reign that means to rule the king rule and the queen also rule so the word for king is rey rey and for the word queen is reina r e i n a reina the word reina reina rey and reina so we are going to use this word rey and reina so you must remember this and you can relate this with with reign reign of terror like there was a word reign of terror in napoleon bonaparte so here here we have the lion king is strong so in our childhood <laughs> we generally love this this kind of movies like the lion king disney movies where they had the tar tarzan and all that so i'm going to translate this as uh, the word for strong in spanish is fuerte fuerte and for the word lion it is leon leon and king is rey so again we are going to write leon leon is a leon that is masculine so we are going to write l now again king king for king we are going to write rey and for lion we are going to write leon l i o n the spelling is same only the pronunciation is different and for strong we are going to write fuerte 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 from force fuerte the night king so i am going to use this character because i am going to make this character a villain in my story that whatever examples i am going to take in future so i am going to make him a villain and uh, there is another dragon uh, dragon queen so i am going to make her a uh, heroine heroine or you can say the main character of of my slides so you must know the translation of this because i am going to use this character so the night king so the word night you might be familiar with the knights who are like soldiers and they carry sword and they always sit on the sit, sit on horse and they fight uh, they fight riding on horse so you must relate this word as uh, they the knights they generally use horses uh, to go from one place to another and they are the horse riders so the word for horse in spanish is caballo caballo so the word knight that is also very similar to caballo that is caba lero caba zero caba zero e r o caba zero the word for knight is caba zero and for king we know the word is rey rey l rey caba zero l rey caba zero the knight king the red flash is very fast so we know so here the word flash i am going to take it as a name uh, so that name so the red flash so there is a yellow flash green flash also like we have seen in the series so the red flash so l flash flash for red we are going to use rojo rojo s s for fast the word is rapido and for very is muy muy rapido 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 so now here uh, i'm going to introduce you with my another character that is al habibi al habibi so he is also going to come in my future slides and before that i introduce night king and 
so moving on to this translation so this is not a yellow camel so again so i told you in my demonstrative pronoun Say, uh, demonstrative pronoun lesson that if you are using the negative sentence then you don't have to use the positive you know, the male or the female form so you are going to use the neutral form that is for this you are going to write esto esto and for is you are going to write es es and it is the negation so you are going to use here esto no es esto no es for a you are going to write un because you are talking about a camel which is camelo and yellow that is amarillo amarillo so so the translation of this yellow camel that is again going to be crisscross adjective because it's an adjective so camello esto no es un camello camello amarillo a m m a R I double L O Amerillo. And now again here we have another sentence that this is a white camel of Al Habibi. So we are going to write for camel, we are talking about camel, so we know that it's a male camelo, it is ending in O. So for this we are going to write este. For is we will write S un. For white camel, we are going to crisscross that is camello and for white it is blank blanco camello blanco camello blanco blanco di di al habibi al habibi so now here we have again al habibi the yellow camel of al habibi is very fast so again we have to use the crisscross over here as you can see that it's an adjective so el camelo camelo amarillo amarillo di al habibi es muy muy for fast we are going to use rapido 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 so now again here we have another sentence that al habibi is on the camel so here before we are using s for is we are using is but now here we are talking about the position of al habibi before we are talking about the characteristics that how a person is or how an how an animal is so we are talking about the characteristics of it but whenever you are talking about the position of something or someone so you are going to use another form of is like there are two form of is so whenever just remember for the sake of simplicity that if you are going to talk about a position then you are going to use translate is into esta and i'm going to define this into my further lessons so that it is going to be much more easy so al habibi so is for is you are going to write esta esta and you have to put an tilde over this esta en el camelo don't worry i am going to explain this esta what it is and why we are using this just remember that if you are talking about the position that al habibi position is on the camel like this way you can remember this this is a black man and he's a he's a black panther so first of all we are going to look at this we are talking about a man so definitely this is going to be a male so for this we are going to write este este for is we are going to write s s again it's a characteristics so s un un again black man so the word for black is negro and for man we have a word hombre so again we have to criss cross over here so hombre first we are going to write man hombre hombre negro 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 and and is y e e he is a black panther for he we are going to write l l the word for panther is panthera panthera just you have to add a at the end so it's very easy for you and the word for black is negro but we have to match that with because 
we have to match that with panthera that is negra we have to do negra because the word panthera is feminine and the article also what we are going to use is feminine so l s una una panthera 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 so we have to match this with this and negra negra so this 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 we will match everything so in the next class we are going to to see uh, we are going to look at more more examples of adjective so until then thank you everyone